Lil B, his name stroke fear in the hearts of the ops. Lil B was a member of STLEBT. Most people know Lil B as an active shooter in the war with Oblock. According to police, Lil B was one of the most dangerous active members in the area, with over five bodies to his name. One of the main reasons why Lil B did not get the attention like King Von or KI is because Lil B was not active on social media. He's silent and dangerous lurking waiting for the ops to show up. Lil B was born in Chicago on January 1994 and grew up in the Calumet buildings on 65 Maryland. Calumet building were known to be a hot spot for gang activities and was located in TYMB territory and was the BD's stronghold and headquarters before the FBI raided the building. Other members well know gang member who were from the Calumet building are Melly, Lil Reese, Barney, Lil Rob, Frito, E-Day, C-Day and doo After the Calum buildings were demolished Lil B and his family moved to 64 Ingleside. Lil B has a brother and two sisters TR and Dominique. Some say that King Von used to hang with Dominique cause she was close to Von's sister Kayla B. Also Dominique tried to set King Von up in 2012. Lil B also had cousins mostly from TYMB in Tro City. He was cousins with Courtney and Cortez, who is rumored to have murked Tuka. He was also related to TY-065 Young Money, Money Man and his brother, an outlaw from TYMB Lil B's cousin TY, and the person that TYMB is formed after. TY was murked in later 2009 by EBT members. TYMB is a branch of Dro City, just like Taekwon World is a branch of Jero City. TYMB stands for TY You Are My Brother. And it's set that reigns over 64th and 65th. 065 Young Money was influenced by Lil Wayne, and from him they took the name. TYMB was cool with THF, O Block, 600, Lamron and Dog Pound, but they all turned on TYMB for more than one reason. Lil B started as TYMB member. Kels taught Lil B how to move in the streets. Lil B was known to slide on Jero City, and even had a shootout with P5's brother Panky. Lil B however would not remain TYMB, and switch to the opposite side to EBT, that happened because Lil B shot himself by mistake and went to the hospital, and when police arrived and questioned Lil B, it was rumored that he snitched on Manny, by saying that he supplied him with the weapon. Later on that rumor was cleared and proved wrong, but it was a little too late, because Lil B already made up his mind, and was already on EBT, it was an easy switch for Lil B, because he didn't have any problems with EBT and EBT needed a shooter they accepted him in 2009. Lil B stayed BD and even claimed BDK at some point. EBT was going all in mainly against O Block and Zone 7. Lil B played a big role in the war with Zone 7 and O Block. He was robbing everybody and even murked through from Zone 7. Lil B was a real savage one the streets, he was feared as much as King Von, T-Roy, Melly and others. A lot of STL members feared him, he was crazy enough that he shot King Cole in the leg for sneak dissing him. He only hang out with a small numbers of STL like Wooski, FBG Duck and Boss Trell, other than that he hang out with EBT Lil B was sliding on everybody. He was a problem for every single op. In September 2011 Lil B caught his first body, his name was Jizzle, a well-respected member from Squirt City, Lil B, and Tutu were walking in the 61st area they intended to walk in that area, seemed like they were looking for ops. They spotted Jizzle they were armed and they ran in his direction. Jizzle tried to escape, but it was too late they started shooting at him, and he was hit multiple times. Jizzle reached the corner of 60th street, and as he fell Tutu and Lil B stood over him and let off multiple shots. On October 2011 Rio from Zone 7 was walking near 67th street, a car drove by and it was dizzy, so icy and Lil B. They drove by Rio, Lil B stretched out of the window and shot Rio multiple times. Rio was only 17 years old. 12 days later, Lil B caught his third body. Patuna well-loved and respected member from Oblock was Adogi, T-Stick and Boss Money, when two men approached them and start shooting at them. Ogi fell down as both men stood over him and landed more shots, the 15 years old kid was hit in the jaw, ear and hand, while Patoon hit multiple times in the head, both arms, hip, wrist and chest. Ogi survived while Patoon sadly did not make it. 
The one who murked Patoon was none other than Lil B. Four months after the pass of Patoon, Lil B caught another body. Lil J and Lil were out on 63rd they were on a roving spree. Levon a member of TWMB, drove to Set Street, at the location, Lil B approached the car and demanded money and personal belongings. Levon drove away, but Lil B let some shots off at the car and hit Levon in the head. After the death of Levon, Lil B hit again. Skoda from Zone 7 was on his way back home when a car pulled up Lil B hopped off and murked him. In late 2012, Lil B shot up O'Block and he was arrested. On October 2012, P5 agreed to meet up with a person in order to sell him some drugs. P5 was on his way to buy coffee, but instead of meeting up with a customer he faced by his ops, King Vaughn, J Money, Big A, LA Capon and Manny. As soon as P5 saw them he started running, unfortunately J Money caught up to him in his back. P5 fell to the ground all members that were mentioned earlier stood over P5 as he was still alive and shot him 6 times in his face and 9 times in his body. P5 was disfigured so bad that paramedics had a hard time to identify the body. The death of P5 lead to the death of J Money as Lil B was so close to P5. Lil B take revenge on O Block 3 days before P5's birthday. On September 2013 Lil Boo would give P5 the best birthday gift ever. J Money was with Prince Dre and E Dog when they drove to the 6600 block of South Roads to do laundry. At the same time Lil B was with an unknown driver. Lil B saw J Money so they followed him. The driver dropped off Lil B on the 66 and ran in the direction of J Money as he started letting off shots. J Money who was picking off the laundry along with E Dog, saw Lil B coming for him so he started running, but Lil B caught up to him and shot him in his lower body. J Money tried to get up, but it was too late Lil B was already over J, and he let off shots that it hit J Money several times in the chest, and one bullet hit right in the forehead. The shooting was so bad that one of the bullets that hit J Money's chest, went out of his mouth. Lil Boo didn't blink. He was out for blood. P5 was one of his best friends, and he was taken out in the worst way possible. So Lil Boot did the same to J Money. J Money was a top member of O Block, he was well respected and loved by everyone. After J's death, a lot of gang members of O Block, 600 and THF46, were out and going after Lil B. Even King Von himself was after Lil B, but he was never able to catch him. Because he moved smart. Lil B went on terrorizing all of his ops. He was dangerous even for some of the cultist blood killers like T-Roy, King Von and E-Dog. Lil B almost took out D-Rose who he shot him in the stomach, Money Man and C-Day, he even ran on Acho Mola, put the gun in his head, and squeezed the trigger multiple times, but the gun got jammed and didn't fire, and I guess that is why Acho Mola turned Holly, and gave up the gang life. Lil B feared absolutely no one. He sat inside the county with people like T-Roy and Trey 5, and they went at each other multiple times inside. Trey 5 and Lil B were like King Von and Wooski they hated each other's guts. Lil B had T-Roy and Trey 5 on top of his list, but he never was able to catch them. In 2014 Lil B knew that everyone was after him even the police, and he knew that he had to be on top of his game. But sadly on that year he was chased down and shot by the police. Police say that after they chased him Lil B drew his blicky and pointed it at the officers who opened fire. Lil B was struck by bullets all over his body, and collapsed as this was the end of a feared gang member who stroked terror in the heart of his ops.